hello again uh, so this is assessment problem 4.17 and in this question we have to uh, find the Norton's equivalent circuit uh, with respect to the terminals A and B of this circuit uh, so what are basically the uh, steps in finding the Norton equivalent circuit uh, basically we will follow the same steps uh, which we were uh, following in finding the uh, Thevenin equivalent circuit uh, but after finding the Thevenin equivalent circuit uh, we will transform uh, the voltage source into a current source uh, and that circuit would be the Norton's equivalent circuit okay uh, so there is not uh, that much difference between the Norton and the Thevenin uh, equivalent circuit uh, that's why we are going to find the Norton's equivalent circuit of uh, uh, this circuit first so for this uh, let's start our pro uh, our problem so uh, first of all we have to find the uh, open circuit open circuit voltage okay uh, which is basically the uh, VAB or V naught okay so in order to find the open circuit voltage here i have many alternatives here uh, to find the open circuit uh, voltage here but i will use here the mesh current method because because it will simplify uh, the method uh, for me so in order to de deploy the mesh current method and as the terminals are again um, open circuited so let me assume two currents here uh, the first one is green which is here and let me call it i1 and the second one uh, let me call it this one magenta this is the i2 okay so let me remove it this is not magenta but that is the amalgam of two or three colors uh, so let me use uh, this color here uh, which is yes this is the blue color so let me call it i2 okay uh, so from this circuit i can clearly see that uh, the only current which is flowing through this branch is i1 and the value of that i1 is already known uh, due to the availability of this source so i can clearly see here that the value of i1 is 15 amps okay uh, so now as the value of uh, i1 is known i will directly go towards the uh, mesh number two and will find the value all the values related to i2 so here in order to simply calculate all the values here uh, so in mesh two um, let me simplify it and in simplifying it i will uh, use the same method uh, which I was uh, following in the previous lectures uh, so here in this branch uh, the resistor 8 8 ohm is uh, shared between the mesh number 1 and mesh number 2 so that's why I, as I am in mesh number 2 so I will write it uh, minus 8 I1 and similarly all the uh, the summation of all the resistors in mesh number 2 is basically uh, 10 plus 8 plus 2 plus 12 and that is the uh, 32 I2 which is equal to zero okay uh, so um, this is my equation and i know the value of i1 so putting the value of i1 here multiplied by i1 that is 15 plus 32 i2 equal to zero okay uh, similarly here now 8 multiplied by 15 is minus 120 plus 32 i2 and uh, that is equal to zero and after uh, rearranging it and the value of i2 will be 120 divided by 32 and the value of it will be uh, 120 divided by the 32 that is 3.75 amps okay uh, so that is the current uh, in order to find the value of the voltage across these two terminals let me use the uh, black color again so in order to find the value of vab it will be the same voltage which has been developing across the uh, 12 ohm resistor so the value of vab is equal to the v12 and the value of it is basically i2 multiplied by 12 ohm and that is basically 3.75 multiplied by the 12.
okay so i will get it here uh, what will be the value its value will be 45 volts okay so that is basically my open circuit voltage so now after finding the open circuit voltage here let me come back here in this circuit and uh, okay and uh, make this circuit make here this one as a short circuit okay shorting it um, i will get another circuit uh, which has the same configuration okay so now this is uh, my circuit and uh, here i can clearly see that when a and b is short circuited short circuited this resistor will be removed okay so uh, as this current when will reach here in this node it will bypass this resistor and will just follow um, this node okay uh, so now again here in order to find the short circuit current short circuit current here in this circuit which is the second step so in order to find the uh, let me make it more clear short circuit okay uh, so in order to find the short circuit uh, current i am again using uh, the same method which is the mesh current method okay so now here in uh, mesh current method again i have two uh, meshes here one is this one and the second one is this one but now this resistor has been removed because of the um, uh, availability of the short circuit here which is bypassing this 12 ohm resistor so again uh, let me consider uh, this current and by using the same color convention here i'm calling it i1 and uh, uh, using blue here i am calling it i2 okay so now this is basically the current which is this one okay by bypassing this uh, resistor here so now um, as we can again see here that the value of i1 is uh, 15 ampere because of the same reason uh, which i have explained earlier on uh, similarly in writing uh, the equation for mesh number two i can see here the same equation here minus 8 i1 plus now as this is removed from here so i will get here 20 i2 equal to 0 uh, putting the same value here i will get uh, minus um, 8 and multiplied by 15 so i will get here 120 plus 20 i2 equal to 0 so the value of i2 is now uh, 120 divided by 20 so this is the 6 ampere okay so the same current is we can see here that the same current is flowing through uh, these two terminals and uh, we can clearly see here that the short circuit current here is the i2 so that's why the value of the short circuit current is also 6 amps okay so uh, this is basically uh, my uh, short circuit current so as i know the values of both uh, open circuit voltage and the short circuit um, current so i can easily find out the value of the thevenin uh, resistor which is the v naught divided by isc or v naught is also the vth so putting values here so it would be 45 divided by 6 so i will get here 7.5 ohm okay so that is uh, the value of rth and the value of vth is basically v naught and that is the 45 volts okay so i have found out all the values which uh, i needed so after finding all the values here let me move down and uh, uh, let me draw a simplified version here So here, these are my two terminals A and B. This is the voltage source and the value of this voltage source is 45 volts and this resistor is of 7.5. This is the Thevenin equivalent circuit. Thevenin's equivalent circuit. So in order to 
transform it into uh, the uh, Norton's equivalent circuit, I can clearly see here that uh, the resistor, this one, is in series uh, with uh, this voltage source. So, in order to transform it, okay, uh, when I will transform it in into another version here, let me uh, change its color again. So, when I will transform it into another source, which is of current, so the same resistor will be placed in parallel with the current source. This is the current source. And what should be the value of this current source? The value of it will be V divided by R and the value of V is 45. The value of R is 7.5 and it would be ultimately uh, I will uh, get it uh, 7.5 divided by uh, 45 divided by 7.5 is basically 6 so it will be equal to 6 amperes and the parallel resistor will be of 7.5 okay uh, so uh, this is the answer of my question and this is the as uh, 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 norton's equivalent circuit okay so i have seen here that in order to find the norton's equivalent uh, circuit here what i have to find out i have to find the value of uh, all the values which are related or which are present in the thevenin equivalent circuit after finding out the thevenin equivalent circuit i can deploy the source transformation okay which is used here to transform my uh, voltage source into the current source. So that's it for uh, today. And that is um, the question which we have uh, studied today and practiced to find the Norton's equivalent circuit of any complicated circuit. Uh, so that's it. And uh, if you have any question, you can ask me in the comment section. Uh, thank you so much. And I will see you in the next.